Yeah, yeah, so we're here with another video uh, about this awesome little app right here, Game Tuner. Now, if you didn't catch the first one, what Game Tuner is, it's actually an engine. Uh, it's an app basically from Samsung that'll uh, run your apps or your games, excuse me, at full quality. Um, so let's go and I'll show you how it works. And by full quality, you'll see how they're breaking it down. Uh, you have your resolution up here that says hi. Just follow the little blip on the pen. You got the uh, frames per second. That's, you know, how fast the images are being shown. And you can see the preset settings like high, medium, low, extreme, low. Like you see how bad that looks. And it's got a low frame rate. Uh, 60 gets you that real, real smooth look. Uh, or you can go to your custom and configure your own settings for each game separately. Now, Asphalt 8. For some reason, I did not change this, but that game is only running at 50%, which was terrible. And I ain't even, I tried to, like when I opened it up, it just didn't look good. Um, so if I wanted to change that, I can tap it and I can run that game at 100%. Uh, and now, you know, the game will look better. In this case, I was specifically requested to run Need for Speed No Limits which is running at 75%. Most games I've seen are running at 75% and 60 frames a second, which isn't bad. To my knowledge, that's 1080p. But we want to run it at, you know, with our 2K screens, we got these notes, these S6s, edges, all that stuff. So I'm going to run that at 100%. Matter of fact, let's do it 75% first so you can see the difference. And, like, you can see the images. I mean, they're, they're good images, but they, could be, they can be a little more sharp. You can utilize that whole screen. Now, I was messing with this game for a little bit. I ain't, I ain't played it, but this is making me want to play that. Making me want to play that shit, man. It's, it's kind of cool. The controls, I like the controls too, man. I don't like the tilt controls, man. I like the, uh, I like the you know, left, right, simple. Or give me, a, give me a directional pad with the Bluetooth controller, man. Let me use that. So I've been waiting. Well, I should have showed y'all the differences and things to look at, but... You can just see like the dithering in the uh, the graphics. Look at the edges, man. If they're if they're going up left, up left, up left, up left, that's called dithering. If it's a smooth diagonal line, then you're looking better. So yeah, got a little bit of the action going on in the last place. Got them to get in first. I don't even know if you can get in first on this shit. At least this little trial run. Wow. Turn that volume up a little bit. Yeah, so you get the picture. Like, if you look at the top of the car, you look at those little arrows, you see that uh, that's what it looks like at 1080p or 75%. We're going to go back. We're going to run this game at 100%. Let's look at the differences. All right, now this graphic is sharper. Even the text at the bottom is sharper. I can see that right off the gate. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how it's looking like this game was supposed to be played. And the whole purpose of this app is to run your games how they're supposed to be viewed, how they were created. They didn't run these games at 75% when they was testing them. They ran these shits at 100%. I don't know for what reason that these games are running at so low rates. Uh, you know, that's, that's out of my control to even know. That's out of my... Mm -hmm. That's for the next man. So yeah, all right. So that that picture looks better. It looks better. Uh, could it be even better? Possibly, but I'm I'm cool with that. Like even the the, the area around the the uh, the wheel wheel, that shit look nice, man. Like you can see, I mean, that look real nice. So yeah, the game looks better. Even the arrows, the arrows that are telling you where to go, they're sharper. They're crisp. So, uh, 
yeah, if you want to get that real feel, you want to fully utilize your 2K screen on your phones, uh, you need this app. Samsung's so nice, man. They just give this stuff away. It's uh, a free app, not paid, and you don't have to just use it on Samsung games. It works across the board. It works on everything. So, yeah, that's cool. Even look at the pictures, man. The pictures are a higher quality image. Everything. So, yeah, you're being shortchanged if you're spending all your money on these devices and you don't got this app to actually run it how these devices can handle it. So, look at that. I mean, I wish I could have pointed out the pictures. So, if you're watching this, you want to go back and watch it again. Look at the pictures of these folks' face. Like, that whole image is a clear image. That is how it was designed in the studio. I can't see no dither. I can't see nothing that's pixelated. It looks perfect. How these, I mean, these are high-end screens. These are one of the best screens two years in a row. These notes and, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. That is a beautiful sight. Especially when you're looking at, you know, that 75%. You've been just dealing with these low-quality uh, images with these games. I've been thinking for the longest they weren't running at full potential, and I was right. So, yeah. Go ahead, get you that game tuner, man. The link in the description. If y'all want me to make any videos, man, shit, if it's, if it's reasonable, I'll definitely do it. Yeah. Listen to Julian, man. And I almost forgot, I was, I was also requested to run this Need for Speed game at really, really low quality. We're going to do that. I went ahead and uh, I had it on the stream low, but I want to make sure it's the lowest it can be. So... Yeah, I set it to 30%, and I got 30 frames a second. Uh, damn, you can do lower than that. I'm going to do 30, man. It still should be seen at 30. Anything else is a smack in the face. So we're going to launch that game. This is the fun part, man. Every time I do this, I feel like it's like a time machine I'm jumping into, going back to when we didn't have A1 graphics and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where it was normal. It was normal, man. It wasn't nothing like... You see this, you'd be happy to just look at the car's design. I mean, you know it don't look as good as it can look, but you just happy to see the car's design. That's too loud. But yeah, man, I was happy to look at graphics like this. PlayStation 1, are you kidding me? I would have killed to look at graphics like this, man. Come on. I said in the last video, I'm say it again, we spoiled brats, man. Fucking spoiled brats. I grew up on shit like this. Look how bad that is. Look how laggy that is, man. Spoiled brats. See how when the image was flat, it was a perfect image? But with those angles, see, these lower resolutions do not handle angles better uh, at all. They don't handle angles good at all. Yeah, I've completely decreased the quality of this game, and this game is slow. The graphics look like crap. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, this is hilarious, man. I almost want to put it at the slowest frame rate, but that's disrespect. This game was designed to be ran at 60. I should have been running this at 60. That way it at least would have been smoother. You see the frame rate? That's how fast the image is actually shown. The frame, whatever you want to call it. Still the image. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty bad, man. It's pretty bad. At least, this is like a cheat code if you think about it. Yo, you can slow the game down. Yo, you'd be the best in the world, man. Slow the game down. <laughs> man, that's a cheat code. Samsung wins again. You just came out with the ultimate cheat code to where you can run the game slower to where all you suck motherfuckers can actually beat that shit because it's going way slower. Got more time to think, more time to, you know, to, 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 to. all right, let's look at that. Yeah, remember how crisp it was last time? Look at those edges, man. Pull out the pen. All around these edges, like not smooth, nothing. Yeah, that's just bad. I don't have to point that out, that's bad. But yeah, Game Tuner, man. This is uh, probably one of the best apps to drop in the gaming community in a minute. Um, catch is, excuse me, to my knowledge, you have to have a Samsung device. Uh, you can sideload the app, supposedly. I haven't done it yet. I probably have another video running on a different device just to see how it works. But you know how these specific apps work, man. If you ever mess with them, there's updates all the time to make something better, to optimize something else. 
So side loading, you ain't getting them updates, man. So uh, yeah, if you got a Samsung device, yeah, we. If you don't, too bad. Yeah.